Okay, but uh, so now we're going to look at water itself. So what exactly is water? Well, we're all familiar with water. It's a liquid and we drink it, and it has the formula H2O. What exactly does this mean, H2O? Well, it means that it's comp each, uh, the water molecules are composed of two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. And we can see these if we split up the water. Put in energy in can be used, uh, can, we can split up the water into its components, oxygen gas and hydrogen gas. And this is what's going on here. So the electrical energy being passed through the water in these tubes here is splitting up the water and we're seeing bubbles of gas forming. And these are pure hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. Now which one's which? Well, looking at the tubes here, we see that there's uh, more gas produced on this side than there is on this side. In fact, there's about twice as much gas on this side as on this side. This is the hydrogen gas, and this is the oxygen gas. So there's two parts hydrogen to one part oxygen, which is, of course, why the formula for water is H2O, and why the models that we have hanging around the lecture theatre each model each molecule of water is made up of one atom of oxygen colored red and two atoms of hydrogen which are white okay so that's a molecule of water now we can show the equation for this reaction where we're splitting up the water this uh, we have our water or hydrogen oxide as somebody might call it so we're putting energy into this and we're splitting it up, and we get the gases, hydrogen and oxygen, in the ratio 2 to 1. So now we're going to have a look at these gases and see the properties of these. 